y'all. Hey guys. So today, um, this time of year is a time where we're always getting sick. We're around a lot of people. The weather's changing. I don't know. Around here, it is super windy. It has been horribly windy the past couple days. And that stirs up everything that I'm allergic to anyway this time of year. Um, but this can help with not only just allergies, but any kind of sinus infection, cold, or cough. This is my elixir. Tracy and I do this all the time during this season when we're cold um, and fighting off kind of illnesses and things this time of year. So I had a client this morning text me that she'd been sneezing and coughing um, all morning long and wanted to know if I had any remedy for that. And I've said, of course I do. So I'll just do a video on it. So I'm so excited to share this with y'all. So this is something you can make ahead of time. You can keep it all the time. You don't have to refrigerate it. Um, actually, I think it's better not refrigerated, just room temperature. So personally, it just is a taste preference. If you want to refrigerate it, you certainly can. But you can make as much of this as you want to, and then you have it on hand as you need it. The way I use this elixir is um, it's not the best tasting thing on the planet. So you're going to use it medicinally. This is not something that I would want to do every single day, but I usually wait until I feel run down. Um, you usually can tell if you're kind of thinking, oh, I might be getting sick, or you start getting kind of the little itchy, scratchy throat, or you just a sneeze in a couple times. In that case, that is when I start, is immediately on the onset of those kind of little signs and symptoms. And I figure if I'm doing it, then I just go ahead and have Tracy do it too because we're living in the same house and we're around each other all the time. And so if I'm going to get sick, he's probably going to get sick as well. So this is what you start with. Super simple. It's stuff that you should probably already keep in your house already. First thing is apple cider vinegar with the mother. Now this is Bragg's. Um, it's organic. It's unfiltered. And it unpasteurized. And it's uh, raw and gluten-free. Bragg's is a great brand. It's easily uh, found anywhere. You don't have to go to the health food store, but I usually buy just a big bottle. It's not going to go bad. Guys, your vinegars are not going to go bad. Keep them forever. It's fine. It's got the mother. You have to have it with the mother, and you can see it kind of in the bottom. It's kind of settled. It's all sedimented here, so you want to be sure that before you use it, you shake it up really, really good, and that's what's going to make it all cloudy just like so. All right, so shake it up really, really well, and you are going to use the, a half a cup of that. I've already started with a half a cup of lemon juice. I just want to show you real quick and finish this off um, before I add the vinegar to it. Cut your lemon, and the cut side goes in the holes. If you guys don't have a lemon squeezer, go get one. They're like 10 bucks at the grocery store. You will get 50% more juice out of your lemons and limes and oranges and such if you'll buy one of these things. They got little holes here in the bottom. You want the cut side to the hole, just like so. So you're going to press down on this side. I know that may sound like common sense, but you'll be surprised how many times I've flipped it over and shot myself in the eye. So just make sure that you've got it facing the right way, and then you're just going to squeeze all your lemon juice in there, and then you can turn it over and make sure you got it all out. Now, Lemons have a ton, actually the majority of their antioxidants is in the peel, but you can save these and put them in your smoothies and blend them up that way, but there's the pith, is, it's a little bit bitter. So for this, I just squeeze the juice. You're still going to get tons of antioxidants, antibacterial properties. The cool thing about this whole recipe is the vinegar, the lemon, and the um, honey all have a lot of similar uh, benefits to them. So this is like a super powerhouse elixir here because we're combining them all. Regulates blood sugar, there's anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal properties to it, so it's uh, wound healing and health healing. It soothes sore throats and coughs. Um, lots full of antioxidants, all three of these, amino acids, friendly gut bacteria. Um, so it actually neutralizes your pH. I know it seems odd because you think of lemons and vinegar as being acidic, but actually neutralizes your pH. So if you're having an acid issue, this will help that. And if you have kind of IBS or digestive issues or even acid reflux, the lemon, the honey, and the apple cider vinegar help with all of that. Um, it also uh, reduces indigestion. I think I said that too. So big powerhouse. At this point, we've got about half a cup of fresh lemon juice. Shake your vinegar. 
And we're going to add half a cup of that as well. And then for the rest, we're going to use, and if you can find raw, unfiltered honey, that's even better. But this is a good compromise. You know, it's um, local, it's pure. I like this brand. Um, it's wildflower honey. It's organic. I love it. Tastes good. This is great. I went ahead and added it to my measuring cup. It's a fourth of a cup of that. And then I heat up water, and I'm going to use another fourth of a cup of water. And you want your water hot so that it helps dissolve the honey. Otherwise, your honey is going to just kind of settle at the bottom, and it's not going to really get mixed up. And then when you drink that, it's going to be super tart and all the blob of honey is going to be at the bottom and you're not going to get the health benefits from it but you're also not going to get the sweetness which you know what is the little song a uh, spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down so here's your sugar part right the honey is going to make it more palatable and make you be able to actually stand to drink it so i have put my hot water and i'm going to just stir it until the honey is totally dissolved and it's liquidy. See that? Okay. At this point, I'm going to just add it straight to the other mixture. Now, for us, I usually keep it either in this little measuring cup here because it pours really easily because it's got the little spout. Or I'll transfer it to a mason jar and I will just keep that on the counter and keep it handy. And here's how you can use that. Get these little Dixie cups. These are just the ones you use to uh, use mouthwash or rinse your mouth out in the bathroom. You can find them at any grocery store. They're just paper. Um, and you're just going to take a shot, which for us is about half of this little Dixie cup. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's not a whole Dixie cup full. So it's, you know, two ounces, two, three ounces. And you're going to drink that for three days in a row, right when you wake up in the morning, and before you go to bed for three days in a row I promise every time Tracy and I have done this it has kicked whatever it was stirred up in us in the bud before it ever got bad um, we will do this preventatively every now and then especially if we know someone around us has been sick so you know my client for instance if she is actually starting to get a cold or some kind of illness that way I'm gonna go ahead and take this today just because I'm around my clients all the time um, so as a preventative measure but on the onset of symptoms little shot in the morning little shot in the evening for three days in a row and you are good to go this makes a bunch i had one client say kim that's not a shot and i said i know it should last you and your husband for three days so this should last you a good long while you should have plenty to go around make extra and just keep it handy like i said you can keep it on the counter or in the refrigerator so hopefully, guys, this helps you stay healthy and well throughout this cold, wintry season. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box, um, and I will be happy to help you any way I possibly can. Um, check out my website if you want to know about some uh, nutrition or training sessions and things I've got going on starting in the new year too i'll have cooking classes posted here pretty quick so watch the website for updates there if you like these videos and you want me to keep making them please hit the share button and share them with your friends um, that way i know who's watching and if i should keep making them or not and um i see a lot of you have joined already i appreciate y'all joining thank you so much um if you have questions real quick i'll hang out for just a second and see if anybody has anything they're wanting to talk about but like I said, uh, if you'll just like and share these videos, I'll be happy to keep making them and do different topics all the time. So I think I'm going to sign off, guys. Y'all have a great afternoon. Talk to you soon. Bye.